right, so I have to answer some questions and then I have to ask some questions. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and answer. So from AJ and Melody, who I absolutely love and I was so happy to see her on this week's video. She is so fantastic, is she not? Am I planning on getting a tattoo? No. <laughs> First of all, I think my parents would kill me. And I know I'm 27, and I know generally there's a lot of things I do that my parents probably wouldn't like. Um, no, there's nothing I do that my mom wouldn't love me for. Uh, so, <laughs> but I could honestly say if I ever got a tattoo, I'm pretty sure my mother would carve it out of me. It would be a problem. Then there's the simple fact that there's nothing I like enough to permanently have it tattooed on my body because I have to see it every day for the rest of my life. I don't, I don't know if I like people enough to say I want to be with them every day for the rest of my life, let alone something on my body. So I don't know what it would take for me to get a tattoo. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't think anything. I like I like my skin without tattoos. I like tattoos and I could totally appreciate a beautiful, well done tattoo. Just not on me. So now I'm going to jump to Lori's questions because the makeup question is going to be the last one I answer. Thanks, AJ, for calling my shit out. All right, Lori's question was to me, what's your biggest fear? What makes me shake in my boots? Um, probably my biggest fear, and it has always been my biggest fear, is something happening to my parents. I'm just terrified, absolutely, absolutely terrified at just the thought of anything happening to them. Um, that has always been probably my biggest, hugest fear. I'm sure you were like expecting something like snakes or spiders or something like that. I'm fine with snakes, I'm fine with spiders, and I'm generally the one that kills bugs. So all of that stuff I'm not scared of. It's the bigger, scarier things that I'm scared of. What was your favorite game as a child? Uh, probably my favorite game, I swam a lot. I was definitely a swimmer. I don't know if that qualifies as a game, but born and raised in Florida where everyone has pools, that's what you're doing. So more often than not, any games that I played when I was little dealt with the pool, like pretending we were the Little Mermaid, my friends and I would do all the time. We would tie our feet together with scrunchies I don't know, does anyone remember scrunchies? I don't even think they sell them anymore. And um, that's what we would do. Or we would, you know, get on a raft and play like an imaginary game where we're stuck at sea and, you know, pool games that children play. So that was probably my favorite game. And then my favorite movie, Easy, The NeverEnding Story. As was mentioned in yesterday's video, I fucking love that film to the point that I had it on beta. AJ will remember beta because she holds down the old fort with me and Jess may remember beta as well. But I had it on a beta tape and literally I'm pretty sure at one point it didn't play anymore. In fact, I know it didn't play anymore because every day I had to watch it. And every time the horse died, I was in hysterics. It never failed. Still makes me sad. He like sinks in the mud. What a horrible scene. Okay, anyway, that was my favorite movie. All right, and now for the makeup. Don't, okay, here we go with the makeup. I carry around a lot of makeup. This is the makeup bag that I carry with me every day in my purse. I have a big purse, and maybe it is a security blanket. I'll give you that. I just like to make sure <laughs> that I have makeup on hand at all times. Because you never know when you're going to need the day look or the night look. And yeah, it's a lot. I can't justify it. It's just a part of me. I carry around a lot, a lot of makeup. <laughs> So 
now it's my turn to ask the questions. And my first question goes out to Jess. And I say this every time I talk about Jess, but she is the most kind, remarkable person I have really met. It's just, you're in her presence and you're just automatically so chill and so relaxed. She is possibly the second coming of Buddha. She's just one of these people that you just want to be around. So my question to you, Jess, is was there ever a time in your life where you were mean or spiteful? And if so, I want an example. Because frankly, I just don't think it was possible, but I'm curious. All right, Lori. Lori, everyone, everyone thinks we're dating. I think finally they realize we're not, but you know, it got me thinking. It got me thinking, Lori. Ready? This is like a two-parter question. The first part is, give me one reason why you would date me. And then the second part is, give me one reason why you wouldn't date me. I think those are fabulous questions. Fabulous. And I'm excited for the answer. I'm totally setting you up on that, aren't I? Okay. Then, AJ, my question for you is, what tattoo did you decide on for your birthday? I know uh, when we were in San Diego, there was talk of hot dogs and french fries and hamburgers and the like, but I'm curious to know what you finally decided on. And then, Cade, my question for you is, what is your earliest memory of you thinking, okay, this whole girl thing, not so much. This isn't who I am. This isn't what I'm supposed to be. This just doesn't feel right. I think that's one question we never covered. I feel like Kate and I have asked each other everything there is to possibly ask another human being, but that's one question I never asked you. So answer it, biatch. All right, and then I think we were giving everyone like a general question. So my general question to the beavers are, if you could be another beaver for a day, who would it be and why? Oh, that one's a good one. That one is a good one. All right, guys, so I will see you when the next batch of questions come, which is from Cade. So Cade, you're on tomorrow, and I will see you all probably sometime over the weekend, and then again next week. Mwah. Bye, guys.